Hi everyone, it's Maria here from pepperlyrose.blogspot.com. Thank you for joining me. It's been a little while since I've done my last video. Um, I've been busy with Christmas and with family, so I had a little break, but I'm back and I'm raring to go. Um, so today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a minion themed party favour um, in the shape of a pillow box. So um, I'll be using today um, the Close to My Heart Cricut Art Philosophy cartridge and I will be using this pillow box here and it's on page 28 and I cut that out at 6 inches okay and then um, we will be using as well some punches um, some Stampin' Up! punches the three quarter inch, one inch, one and a quarter inch of the word window punch and the uh, owl punch and um, yeah it's super quick super easy and I think it'll make a very cute party favour so we'll get started I'll just pop these to one side I'm just going to bring around the actual pillow box cut I've already cut that at six inches as I said before now the Cricut does not score because I've got the Cricut expression which is the very old version but um, I'm I still like it, it still works and it does what I'm after but what the Cricut does is it makes little tick marks so if you can see here very so it makes tick marks there and there and then there and, and there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make those score lines yourself all you need is a ruler and say your bone folder you can use a tip so what I do is I just line up the ruler to those tick marks and I just score it like that I just do it like that and I'll do the same on this side just line that up and then I'm just going to make the score lines so what I'll do now is just burnish those score lines so I'll just use whoops I just use the bone folder to do that and I'll do it again okay now the beauty of this um, the Cricut is you can make the pillow boxes as big as you like so that's fantastic so what I'm going to get is Stampin' Up's tear and tape I love this stuff it's nice and strong so and you don't need to use anything fancy so I'm just going to put the tear and tape right near the edge of that and then I'll just tear it off nice and easy so I'll just make sure I've really it's really stuck down and then I'm just going to pick off the um, the backing and now just put it together and it's all done perfect I think I might have stuck that down a bit oh no nah, see once it sticks down it sticks down I was a bit too quick but anyway it's it's easy and it also made score lines for those um, you know for the rounded part anyway not to worry just um, push that in so it can get this all started and yeah just do it like that it looks awful hang on a second no nope, won't do it for me today <laughs> oh look you know what the best thing to do is follow those tick marks and just do a score line doing it that way I think is the best way to go so I've just ruined this but here we go we learn as we go so we just do that just follow those tick marks just follow the tick marks with your um, bone folder or a stylus whatever you want to use and just keep going on either side we just learn it doesn't have to be exact but it just gives the, the paper a bit of room to um, to move oh, and by the way I'm using daffodil delight cardstock from Stampin' Up and I really love their cardstock because it's nice and um, thick and it's great for boxes and for card bases it's fabulous okay so as I did those tick marks as I scored along those tick marks with my bone folder I was able to get a nice clean edge so yeah learn from my mistakes <laughs> and here we go do it on this side now much better and then pop that down okay so that's that's okay for now all right 
We'll put this to one side for a minute. Now with the minions, we need to cut out the eyes. So what I'll be getting is my one and one quarter inch uh, circle punch. And I'm just gonna cut out two circles using um, some silver foil. One, two. Okay. And after that, we need some black cardstock. I'm just using scraps, so you don't have to use anything fancy here. So I'll just cut two black circles. There we go. And the eyes are coming along. <laughs> and the next thing we'll need is the three quarter punch. And I'm going to cut out two three quarter inch white circles. Okay. And um, the next thing we'll need to do is cut out I think I've done it the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done it the wrong way around. So get rid of those two. So we'll do it again. <laughs> so it's the one inch, one and yeah, one inch white circle, not black. One, two, and then the three quarter inch black. So we want to make the pupils actually brown yes okay this is soft suede stampin up so i'm going to cut out two uh, soft suede three quarter inch circles i'm not thinking straight guys so sorry but it makes the eyes yep okay and now with the black basic black cardstock we're going to cut out some pupils, so I'm going to use the owl punch for that, and I'm just going to use those two smaller circles there. So I'll just punch those two out. And that will make the pupils. Okay, so that looks much better. <laughs> okay. And with the word window punch, we are also going to cut out from Stampin' Up's basic black card stock um, two word windows. So I'll just do one, two. Oh, that didn't turn out right. <laughs> do it again. Sorry, it's been a little while and I'm not in the groove of making videos, but it's so much fun. So anywho, um, that's scrap, so we'll get rid of that. All right, so... What we'll do is we'll just um, adhere the eyes together. So I'll just grab my um, glue and I'm just using my tweezers to hold the little pieces together. So I'll just grab some glue and put it on the back. Just stick it in the middle of that um, silver piece. There. And we'll put the soft suede circle there, in the middle, and then we'll do the same again with the Whisper White cardstock. I'm using all Stampin' Up! cardstock except for the foil, the silver foil. I got that at my local office work store, and they have it in a packet with silver and gold, so that's fantastic. Just put some. there and then now I don't know how I'm going to arrange the um, pupils but I might do it like oops haven't dried yet maybe towards like that that'll look cute okay so I'll just grab my tweezers and my basic black little tiny circle from my owl builder punch just pop that over there a little bit up, yep, and that one again. <clears throat> pop the adhesive on there and pop it on here. 
Now we'll bring back the pillow box and what I was thinking was just putting it here like that so it looks super cute and then I wanted to attach like the band behind those um, so what I'll do is I will um, adhere like the black band that, that holds the goggles together so I'll just put adhesive along here and then just stick it along there and I'll do the same on the other side like so see with my videos I don't do these beforehand I just do it as we go um, as I'm filming there's no editing I have not done this before but but it was an idea in my head and I'm hoping this turns out in real life and so far so good really and oh yes and before I stick these down I let these dry so that it's easy for me to stick on the eyes I'm going to grab my white gel pen and I'm just going to add like a little dot here just to give some eyes some definition and like a little reflection make them look cute and brings the eyes to life so they don't look so creepy with them just being black so it just makes them look a little bit more realistic and just gives them a bit of character okay so that looks great so I'll just grab my tweezers put some glue on the back and then I'll stick them on to the pillow box so I'll just pop that there oops Yeah, and then I'll do the same with this one. Just grab some, put it in the middle. Because the pillow box is like at a curved angle, you can't stick it right down. So in a way, it's kind of good because it gives the goggles a more realistic look that they're popping up. If I might move this over just a tad over there. Let's see. It. And do the same over here. Whoops. this is my version there are plenty of versions around of these minion um, like pillow boxes online this is my version okay because I'm using the Cricut cartridge and I'm just doing it my way so that's that one now just to bear with me I'll just grab a pair of scissors and I'll be right back and where are my scissors scissors just grab my ones here where are my scissors no not these ones Scissors. Okay, sorry about that guys. Now what we'll do is we'll turn this pillow box around and we're just going to trim off the edges there. So I'll just grab my craft scissors from Stampin' Up and I'll just quickly give that a trim. That's it. And give that a trim as well. Oh, do it again. Fantastic. So now it looks nice and finished there. See, isn't that great? So now what we're going to do is the body of the pillow box. So I liked it to have a little bit of a, um, also a smile too. So what we'll do is we'll grab, I want to have a bit of a mouth, so it looks a bit weird. So I'll just, where I punched out the, the, what was it? The one inch circle punch there. And it was a mistake. In a way, it wasn't a mistake because I need to do that. So I'm going to bring my one inch circle punch again. And with that cut that's already there, I'm going to now cut a smiley, a smile, a mouth. So if you can see here, I'm just using that circle part. I might use this bottom one here. And now I'm just putting my circle, my three quarter inch punch in there. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to punch it. And that gives a fantastic mouth. See? And you can make it at an angle. I think it looks super cute. So what I'll do is I'll grab my tweezers. And we'll just stick this mouth down. So it just gives you a nice, like almost a crescent moon really. And that's a great way of making a smile. So we'll just do it like that. Okay. 
And so now, make sure that sticks down. I've got some Pacific Point cardstock. It's just a scrap piece. I'm not measuring it. I'm just going with, with what I see here. So what I'm going to do now is just measure out how much I need. So it's about that much. So I'll just grab my scissors. This is very rough, but we're going to trim it. So I'm just going to cut that off. I'm just going to apply glue just down here, just roughly. It's not a science. It's just going to be very basic. So it's going to be his overalls, okay? So I'll grab that um, piece of cardstock. So there's a nice straight edge. So we're going to use that, and we're going to trim off the sides, okay? So just stick that down. Just hold it there for a few seconds to make sure it stays down. Come on, stay down. <laughs> might put a bit more glue stick that right down it's a bit hard um, for these to stick down when the pillow box is at an angle okay so this is just roughly to show you how to do it I mean you can vary it your way and finish it your way but this is the way I'm doing it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn over the pillow box behind, just make sure that sticks down a bit more, okay, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to trim off the excess parts, so, okay, and I'll trim off, I love these Stampin' Up Craft scissors, they're nice and strong, they cut ribbon beautifully, and I'm just going to follow that curved line down the bottom with my scissors. So whilst I'm holding it upside down, I'm just going to follow that curve. Be careful you don't cut your fingers off. And there we have it. Oops. Just make sure this sticks down a bit closer. To the, I couldn't find my paper snips. Typical. So I'll just clean up that edge there. Just clean this up a bit. Make it look a little bit more precise and clean that up. Clean that edge up. Okay. So this just gives you as a rough idea, okay? You'll probably do it better yourselves at home, but I'm just showing you how I'm doing it, okay? So that's his overalls there, which is coming along great. Now, we're going to get that word window punch again, and we're going to cut out two word window punches from the scraps that we've got there. So that's one, and then another one, two. And also with the um, L Builder Punch, we're going to cut out two little circles again. Those small circles that we've got there. It's just those ones there. I'm going to cut those out. And they're going to be like the buttons for the overalls. So we'll just get rid of the scraps we don't need there. Let's pop that over there. So now what we're going to do is with those word window punches is we're going to stick them like that. So they're going to be like that. So on either side. So I'll just put a bit of glue and stick that like so. I'm going to trim off those edges as well in a minute and do the same to the other side. Oops. Okay, just let them 
stick uh, adhere there for a little bit and now we're just going to grab those two little circles that I cut out from the um, Owl Builder Punch and I'm just going to pop them right on the edge there so that it looks like hang on, hang on. yep little buttons so let's put them on there right on the edge really tiny these little circles Stick that over there so it looks like a button. Oops, get off. Okay. Now I'm going to just cut off the excess bits that are sticking out from there. So I'll just turn the um, pillow box over and I'm just going to trim off the edge there. That's that one trimmed off. And I'll do the same to the other side. right on the edge so that's all cut off Oop, the glue didn't dry and I got it messy but there's your minion pillow box hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found this video helpful um, yeah it's it's pretty simple once you get a basic pillow box I uh, use the the Cricut but you can also use any dies you may have of any kind of pillow box and I just use my Stampin' Up Punches I love those things and good card stock and just a bit of an imagination and away you go alright guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my pillow box tutorial um, sorry it was a bit a bit all over the shop with me being a bit um, out of the groove of making videos but I hope you enjoyed the process as I said I don't edit these videos you see it from start to finish the whole process mistakes and all because I think it's a good idea that to gain confidence in crafting you will make mistakes no doubt about it so just enjoy the process have fun and um, I'll see you next time okay have a great day